there you go guys the FJ40 by MN model now the box is a little crushed so let's hope the contents are okay this is what it looks like and if you look right here you can pause it there to see some detail but I'm gonna go ahead and bring it in for you to show you the models they're claiming to have so that's gonna be the truck version that gray one right there is the one I got and if you look closely right there it looks like they have a version with a back end on it man I would like to got that one instead but oh well it wasn't available when I got this one so I'll go ahead and open this up and show you what's in there all right guys, this is what you're gonna get in the kit package. You're gonna get your instruction manual right here. Your bag of parts, as I suspected. It's a 180 motor with the old gearbox, so no upgrade there yet. Can't believe it, but anyway. Here's that nice Land Cruiser body. Got it in the silver, you know. I can't hate on the body. The details is not, it's not bad, it's not bad. Too bad though. Why doesn't this open? That's like a downgrade for the D90. What the heck? That doesn't open. They can't even give us an opening tailgate. And they slapped the battery in the back. I'm gonna need something. I'm gonna need to do something to figure that out. Change where that battery goes. But yeah, there you go. Just wanted to show you a slight difference right here from the MN90 to this one. The frame, which I thought was gonna be the same, is actually different. I don't know if you can tell but the frame does have a different style to it. It's not the same frame that came with the D90. So it is a little different frame wise, or just the shape, you know, everything probably mounts on there the same and everything, but the shape of the frame is different. Yeah, there's your little Toyota grill and stuff. The other funny thing I wanted to include in this, which is pretty hilarious, I don't know how they got away with this. Check that sticker kit out. They have Proline written on there. You got TRD and Toyota written on there. Little Toyota grill. Hmm, I might keep that for the FJ40 the WPL is coming out with. It might need that grill right there so I don't have to buy a Toyota sticker for it. So I'll keep it off for now on this one. <laughs> but look at all those sponsored stickers that I'm pretty sure they're not okay with these guys having these stickers. Oh well, that's how it is when you get these things. Well, next time you see it, they'll be all together. There you go guys, built. Now, I do want to point out a little bit of the differences on this one. The rims and tires, if you can tell, they actually have a hole that go through them now through the spokes on the D90. That was just blocked off, so I'm hoping these are better plastic on these wheels. They seem to be reinforced better in the back end, so that was my only problem with the D90. These like to break right here and spin freely on the hub. But yeah, hopefully these ones are better. I did notice those wheels are different just from that, but the design is exactly the same. So is the tread pattern on the tires. Shocks are the same. Metal ring and pinion, boo. I don't know why we still have to deal with that from MN model. I mean, it looks good. You know, it's not a bad looking rig. It's just not perfect. You got the rear glass right here. It's just one whole piece and on the real truck this is actually a quarter window right here and then it separates this from another window back here uh, battery bay that belongs underneath the truck right here not going to use it I'm gonna figure out a different way to put the batteries on this thing but I may have to use part of this battery tray to clean up the rear a little bit to you know put like a little black spot right there because it does have that on the real truck so it will still be used, but not as a battery bay. There you go, guys. That's that FJ45 kit. Still a 180 size motor. Still the three gear old style transmission with the horrible reduction. You know, that's, that's it. I was expecting a 260 like they said on the listing, but no, it's still a 180. 
The paint's not too bad. You know, it kind of messed up right over here, but you can't really tell once you scratch it up a little bit, it'll all look even. And yeah, let me put it beside the MN Model D90 so you can see what it looks like beside that truck. There you guys go. Both of those trucks side by side. The MN45 is longer only because of the trunk. Wheelbase is the exact same wheelbase, exact same everything. The chassis are different though. If you notice that in the beginning, the chassis of this one is a little thicker it looks like. They just changed it up a little bit just to make it look different, but it's still, they'll still bolt up to the same. You could probably swap these around no problem, so everything will work that way. So yeah, just here we go, side to side so you can see how much longer it is. There you go, that's wheel to wheel. See the trunk right here sticking right there. So just a little longer than the spare sticking out right here. So they're pretty close in size. I don't know if they're supposed to be in real life. I don't know if this is supposed to be a smaller truck and that's supposed to be bigger, but there you go. So yes guys, just waiting on the WPL C34 Land Cruiser to see what theirs is like compared to this. And I can tell you by looking at this and by watching other people's YouTube videos that that one's gonna be a better truck. This is not bad though, it doesn't look bad. I won't lie, it doesn't look too bad. It's, it's pretty cool still. I still like it. Oh yeah, also I forgot to mention, the mirrors are like pure soft rubber now, which is super cool because you really can't break them off. I just don't know how long they'll last or stay propped up on their own. Other than that, that's pretty cool. That's solid rubber right there. You know, you just brush against stuff and it's just gonna, you know, and come right back. Well, all right, I think that was about it. No lights, no light buckets in the back of these. So you'd have to figure out a way to light those up. These do come with lights. I'm not sure if they're cool white or the soft white. When I turn it on, I'll let you know. But for now, not impressed. I still like it because it's a Toyota, but I'm not impressed, you know, maybe if it had the 260 in there like they said on the listing, I would have been a little bit more impressed, you know, a little bit more upgrades, but other than that, it's pretty much the same truck. It's pretty much this. So, I don't know what to tell you guys. It's still that. Nothing impressive, nothing changed. Now if you look at the new MN models, it looks like they're going to have a better transmission with a bigger 260 size motor on them, so check those out. Still not sure about MN model as of now. It's a little bit disappointing, you know. Take away some of my scale features like my hood battery, you know, placement. This one you can't even open the hood. And I don't even know if you can tell the paint job on this one. It's pretty bad right there. Uh, you know, well, it's nothing to worry about. Nothing to write home about. It's alright. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe below. Now go out there, run that RC.